Right, so ladies and gents, we are going to be talking about the 4.6 artifact. And these artifacts are going to be helpful for this character, Arlecchino. So these are the artifacts, and we actually have what they do. So the two piece of the set gives an attack increase of 18%. This is the standard that you see in a lot of sets these days and the four piece set now this is where it gets a little bit interesting because this is where the bond of life comes in so since arlecchino does have bond of life within her kit this actually becomes a pretty powerful tool for her to utilize because whenever you do have you know bond of life and it increases or decreases depending the character that has the set equipped will deal 18 percent more damage for a for six seconds you can have three stacks of this you can have a 54 percent increase in that that is a lot and that is pretty good now is this more valuable than crimson witch personally I, i'm not the best at the math so i'm not going to like tell you exactly how much better it is we are going to be testing it out as soon as it comes out but that doesn't mean that you don't, you know, you know, you can't use the Crimson Witch set. It doesn't mean that you can't even use the Marichose or Marichose set, right? Those would still be pretty good for what you want to do. Because this doesn't give you prior damage. That's how you know that it's not going to do like that much. Like sure, the Bond of Life, you know, is in effect here. And, you know, you, you can deal 54% more damage. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this is the best. But in terms of her actual you know stats that you would probably need um for the mask crit rate crit damage the basics depending on what you need you're going to have to you know use that on your time piece your time piece is going to be attack percentage i don't think she scales off of hp nothing has said that she does scale off hp but i'm pretty sure you're going to be using attack percentage on your sands or if you really 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 need it energy recharge but i i don't think i would recommend that finally we have the goblet the goblet is going to be arrow damage but now that we have mentioned this who is going to be you know supporting your arlecchino okay so most of the teams are gonna look something like this this is probably the most popular team right next to the zhongli one so you're going to have i'm using hu tao as an example but Imagine Orlochino here, Orlochino, Yelan, or Xingqiu, either or could work just fine. Zhongli, or uh, you could use any other shielder that would sort of help you not create a reaction. So instead of Zhongli, maybe um, Diona or Layla, right? And also uh, at the very end, you want to use Bennett or even Fiorina. Fiorina will help you do vaporize as well, so it's not really the worst thing ever and could also help you. Heal. So those are not the only two teams. There are some fun teams as well that you can use with Overload using Chevrus. All right, so we'd have Arlecchino, we'd have Chevrus, and then we'd have Beidou, which I haven't seen in a long time. I want to see Beidou. Okay, guys, try this. Let me know how it goes. But Beidou or any other electric, you know, electro user, Yaimiko could be official. You just want something that applies electro, and then Bennett just for the damage, right? If you don't want to, you know. If you just use Beidou, you want to use someone else, uh, Kuki could could work. But you would lose out on a lot of buff damage from Bennett, which is fine. Uh, that means you just do a little bit more overload. Shirtus is like, she's the whole team based. And then we have another team with Mono Pyro. Okay, this one's pretty interesting. You're going to use Arlecchino. Arlecchino, you'd have Kaza, or you could use any other animal user. But you won't get, you know, the buff. And then Xiangling and Bennett is probably one of the more popular teams as well obviously you can you know mix and match do your own teams add mona you can you can do a bunch more stuff it's not only these teams that are available but these are probably the more popular teams that um i would see people using um in the spiral abyss or something like that that is uh that is the teams that i'm going to be trying you know i'm gonna try out and um, in my free to play account i don't have chivalrous yet but i'm kind of really hoping that chivalrous is in the banner or arlecchino because if she is overloading would actually be a thing right so real quick let's go over um some of the weapons that you might be considering using for your arlecchino and one of them is actually right here which is the black cliff pole this is actually going to be a pretty nice aesthetically you know pleasing weapon for arlecchino because it, it sort of matches it sort of matches her aesthetic and it's going to look really nice as the scythe whenever she uses her elemental skill and then you know the infusion happens right so this is definitely going to be looking pretty good but yeah in all seriousness 
you're going to need like some sort of crit weapon. So whether it's crit rate, crit damage, you're going to need it because he pretty much is your main damage dealer, and this is this is what you need. So I would highly recommend a crit based weapon. So if you have Staff of Homa, if you have this, the Primal Jade Ring Spear, if you have Black of Pole, Deathmatch, um, any crit weapon would do you really nicely. But you'd probably be like, hey, well, I, I me, mean, I, I don't really have any you know, crit weapon. Well, if you don't, I don't think there are too many good options because you want to do your know, normal attacks and you want infusion to sort of help you. Um, Dragon's Bane could be kind of okay because you get increase in you know pyro, but the elemental mastery won't help you too much unless you vaporize, right? Which is pretty much you know the the teams that you're going to be doing. So this weapon wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, another weapon would be kind of good would be Lithic Spear. You get some crit rate increase and attack percentage. Depending if you have, you know, a certain amount of uh, leeway characters on your team. So, that is also something to consider if you have, you know, Shongli on your team, that's at, at least one. And we already went over the artifacts. Um, what about her talents? Now, for her talents, what I would, you know, see is the normal attacks would be taking precedent over everything else. And then, maybe your amount of skill and then the burst i think the burst would be the last thing but yeah i think that is pretty much it i think we covered most of the stuff that we want the stats that you want to be using is crit rate crit damage attack uh maybe some em not too much energy recharge and pyro damage bonus that's all you need okay don't make it too complicated she's really simple to use she doesn't scale off hp or em or whatever super easy like any other dps